نتونستن آنهار کوپون مایلور 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 لورد جوادایا Why do you disturb me, Bob Kerman? Only to tell you, my lord, of our great success. The cloaking device worked. They think we're dead. They think we're bone rocks. <laughs> Then it's only a matter of time before the space center, Kerman, and the entire solar system is mine. <laughs> But what of our two little moles? Well, she's already been hired, and good Ronald is in orbit now, awaiting to be rescued. <laughs> Bill, Valentina, and the Ronin pawn have no idea what's waiting for them. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I am the Ronin Pawn, and this is Hardcore Pawn. We had some losses last time. Uh, some individuals, uh, Jeb and, uh, you know, the other guy. I don't remember his name. They, they may have died a little bit, but we were learning the 1.04, heat, aerodynamics, death, inevitable. It's very, it's very difficult now. Don't even need to install mods to make the, the thing deadly. My god, how are new players going to... <laughs> have a chance at even getting into KSP. They're gonna have everyone dead in the first few flights. We need to pull in some of our trainees, and we need a scientist on deck, and apparently Josel Kerman is the the lady for us. Welcome to the crew, Josel. Um, don't worry, the other guy, uh, he's, he's fine. He's, uh, he's just, he went on a trip to a farm where he'll be happy for the rest of his days. Another good plan is to get our scientist leveled up. Just real quick, we'll wrap around, we'll just throw her into orbit, we'll bring her back, and, you know, she'll be able to do something for us. But while we're doing that, we might as well take some contracts. And look, we've got science data from space around Kerbin. Transmitter recover anything, you'll give us some money? Sure, I'm all for that. Also, I am for taking up a single tourist if we have one who wants to come. We don't have any single tourists who want to come. Uh... Don't know why, you know, people are dying left and right. Don't know why. <laughs> Tell you what, let's go over to the VAB and have a look at whether or not we can build a ship that will get orbit with four Kerbals in tow. Because I don't want to go up with a probe, I want to take, um, you know, a pilot. Because pilots, good. SAS, helpful. So, let's see if we can have a pilot, two tourists, and a scientist go to orbit all in one go. <laughs> Okay, simple orbital tour. I am a little bit nervous due to the recent death of a few individuals who shall remain nameless, <laughs> Jeb and Bob. But I've got to get back on the horse, so Houston, can you give us a countdown? In three, two, one, fire. Everybody okay in there? Everybody having a good flight? Everybody get their peanuts for this, uh, this particular tour? Don't want anybody to, you know, die of starvation, malnutrition, shock heating, any of those things.
Oh, we're out of frickin' fuel, you idiot. Drop the stage and go to the next. Oh, okay. We're fine, we're fine. That's why I gave myself 71 kilometers to play with, because I'm, I'm a git. Okay, we did it! That was a very nice wrap round. It's so good that everything's spasming, and that's when you know you've done a good one. 71.6 and 70.8. Beautiful. Um, okay, starting to regain my confidence here in the 1.04, where so much has changed, and so much is incredibly and horribly deadly. I didn't just quick save. shut up. We're gonna try burning a little bit further out, where I don't usually do, which is back here. Eh, right on the retrograde in 3, 2, 1, and okay, just burn it down to 20. 20k on the Perry apps, um, because I don't know, I just, I, you guys tell me things and I say, okay, that sounds like a good idea. So that's 18. 18 is probably, okay, they said 20. They said 20, do 20. Okay, 20.2. Good. I think. I hope. Val, Josel, and the tourists, they really hope. <laughs> Say goodbye to the liquid fuel and the ability to slow yourself down and pray to whatever god that you believe in that the atmosphere will do what we hope it will do. Okay, okay, shock heating has begun. Shock heating has begun, and Jewel is over overlooking us. Jewel is going to protect us on this descent. Find your retrograde and hold it for us, Valentina. I am not going to physics warp through shock heating. No, sir, not in the 1.04. Not until I have quite a bit more experience with it. My gut is in knots. This is absolutely terrifying. Please, please, no one die. We've had enough of that on the channel. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Maybe I shouldn't have decreased the ablator to 20. Oh, okay, uh, turn SAS off. Just let, let, let aerodynamics take us now. Well, our ablator didn't, yeah, so maybe 40 or 60 on the ablator. Maybe don't want to limit that to 20 anymore. Not making a whole lot of sense. Um, but, okay, think we've survived. Don't see anything exploding yet. And we're losing the shock heating. We're just going down to, you know, going really fast kind of a heating. Okay, just shake and wobble and shimmy and uh, why are we coming down in the mountains? Okay, everything's new and different, but uh, hopefully death is not new and different. Shake and shimmy and wobble for the de decreasing of the, all the things. Oh my god. Oh my god. We've got to get down. Okay, uh, the game crashed, and I don't know how much of it you saw the mission, because it's gonna corrupt some of the video footage. Don't worry about it, okay? It's put me back here. I didn't even quick revert. Last time that I tried to, uh, deorbit us, <laughs> it went great. Last time I tried to deorbit us, I, uh, I set us with, um, 20, 20k, 20 kilometer height. It was real close in terms of being able to open a parachute without it ripping off and getting everyone killed. So, so, I'm gonna try higher. We're gonna go 32 kilometers. And I have just realized that for a man who didn't ever really play Kerbal Space Program that well to start with, I have no idea what I'm doing anymore.
things are going slightly better this time round. It looks like we're going to clear the mountain range, which posed an issue for me last time. We may have been crashing into the side of it. it it's, it's going a lot better this time. However, I did learn last time that the ablator is... I shouldn't be taking that much off of it. You can probably get by with 40, 60, almost certainly, for a conventional return to atmosphere, but um, 20 is cutting her a little close, Pawn. Don't do that again. And there she goes, there she goes, starting to topple now. Starting to topple, okay. Just, just hold up, up. Let's, let's stay, let's use our body lift to keep us up in the air as long as we possibly can. Um, the ablator was used down to 1.88. And, um, and then we spun round just when we were losing our shock heating, so it's not necessarily the worst thing in the world right there to spin over and topple. Maybe that's just how it's going to be in KSP past 1.03. So it's good for me, and we could climb a tree. You'll see. And we managed to diminish our speed almost kind of, sort of. Oh my god, it's still above 240. Okay, I have to deploy some shoots. I have to. Okay, we've got some shoots away. There are some shoots away. Flip, flip, roll. Let go. Yeah, no, don't come down that way. Um, I think the tourists will be fine. F5. If I do what I had planned, which is spin them down, spin them down, and let them go. Just let them go. Oh god, they're not going to be fine. Oh, they're not going to be fine. They are not going to be fine. The parachutes did not go. Why parachutes not uh, exist anymore after that? Those are dead tourists, and that is a revert. <laughs> okay, whatever you want to do, KSP. These parachutes that are deployed, if I then detach the stage, they cease to be. So, recovering anything that you detach from yourself is just impossible. Have I got that right, squad? There's no, there's no doing that anymore? Cool, thanks, great. I'm gonna pop the other parachutes, because why not? We've got them here. Now we've got a crap ton of parachutes, and we're all gonna come home safely! Can we just, can we just double check that? F5 again for safety, and... Yeah, they just, they just, they just stop. They cease to be as soon as you detach them. So, basically, that is telling me that there's no such thing as recovery, um, for anything other than your root part? I, I don't, I don't understand. Whee! We should be absolutely fine at three meters per second to dip down into the water ever so nicely. In fact, we'll do it on our side. We'll just lean a bit in one direction so that when that happens, it doesn't, you know, decide to kill everyone. Yay! Everyone did that! We came back alive! Okay, have we already got all the data from out here? EVA report over Kerbin's water? Yeah, apparently we've been over the water before, so all that there is to do is recover this vessel and pat myself on the back. You did the most simple thing that you could possibly do in Kerbal Space Program in the 1.04, which has made it a lot more difficult. Josel Kerman has advanced to level one. We now have a level one scientist on crew again. Thank God, and both the tourists got home. Thank you for flying hardcore pulling air. Take a souvenir keychain on your way out, and please don't tell your friends about the ablator that didn't have enough ablator on it. Just, uh, no. That's, that's bad PR. We will sue you. Slander. Or liable. Which is it? I never remember.